Right, let's, let's talk about a conspiracy theory involving a furniture company. Have you seen this? Uh, the company in question is American, it's called Wayfair. As you can see, it sells furniture and home goods, but it's recently had to deny it's part of a child trafficking ring. All of this is originating from the QAnon community. We'll get into detail about what that is in a moment. But first of all, here's the theory. A lot of these storage cabinets on the Wayfair website have girls' names. A well-known QAnon activist noticed this and tweeted, my spidey senses are tingling. What's with these storage cabinets? Extremely high prices, all listed with girls' names and identical units selling for different amounts. The suggestion being that actually this was about trafficking young girls. Well, Wayfair has said there is, of course, no truth to these claims. But that hasn't stopped this conspiracy spreading all around the world. His data from Spreadfast, a social media analytics tool, it shows the global searches for the term Wayfair, mostly in the US, but a huge amount of interest in Turkey and the UK too. The term's generated 4.4 million engagements on Instagram and has spread rapidly on public groups and pages on Facebook too, resulting in more than 12,000 posts and nearly a million direct engagements. Um, this is the point at which I'm going to bring in Mariana Spring, our specialist disinformation reporter. Uh, these things are pretty remarkable for how much traction they get, given there's so little underneath them. But how do we explain how this one suddenly exploded across the, the net? Uh, it's absolutely amazing how uh, it burst into the mainstream and spread. So after this, a uh, QAnon activist first tweeted the claims. We then saw how um, it was picked up by QAnon followers, and that's often what happens, and they do their own research, so they investigate the claims. And in this case, they then pointed to the fact that the girls' names, the names of these cabinets, actually match the names of uh, missing children, uh, usually in the US. Um, and one of the missing children that was named actually had to come out on a Facebook Live. She's a and she said, look, this is ridiculous. Why are you linking this to me? I didn't even go missing in the first place. Um, and then from that point, we just saw it spiral. It was shared on Reddit um, on a, a conspiracy theory thread. And then it was all over Twitter, all over Facebook and TikTok. Um, and the the claims became increasingly outlandish. So it wasn't just about the cabinets anymore. It was about personalised pillows, which, if you tried to put certain messages on them, seemed to cost $10,000. And the suggestion was that high price was because a child would come with the pillow. And again, it was part of this human trafficking ring. And then we also, also saw people suggesting that if you search some of the stock IDs, the numbers of the products on Yandex, which is a Russian search engine, actually uh, images of women appeared and that that was again part of this human trafficking ring that was related to Wayfair. All of these claims are totally uh, untrue and Wayfair has come out to deny them. There were issues with price glitching which explains some of the high prices. Also some of the cabinets being uh, advertised uh, were industrial size really big which explains why they were so expensive and the names are generated by means of random name generators. There was no specific logic to why those female names were chosen. And with the Yandex thing, it turns out that actually if you search any string of numbers, the pictures of uh, these women come up and that glitch has now also been fixed. Um, so all totally untrue, but increasingly strange. Uh, increasingly strange, no specific logic, two useful phrases when covering this story. Listen, I was mentioning the, the QAnon community. Let's just dig into a little about that. This article goes into more detail. Essentially, this is made up of people who believe an anonymous internet user who calls him or herself Q, is a government official leaving online clues about a plot by the supposed deep state to topple Donald Trump. That deep state is made up of Washington elites who are also engaged in paedophilia, child trafficking and a number of other things. Needless to say, there's no actual factual basis to any of this. This started as a fairly niche affair in a small part of the internet, but it's gone pretty mainstream. This New York Times article sums it up. The QAnon candidates are here. Trump has paved their way. It describes several people running for office who openly espouse the QAnon theory. And here's another article describing the way the president has encouraged the spread of these theories from Politico. Trump isn't secretly winking at QAnon. He's retweeting its followers. Um, and Mariana, it does seem that the references to QAnon become more and more frequent in mainstream US politics. Definitely. Um, we've seen QAnon popping up far more than we ever have before, especially during the course of this pandemic. And we've seen the president endorsing those tweets, whether accidentally or on purpose, more and more. Um, we saw him retweet, particularly on the, on the 4th of July, multiple tweets that that article references, uh, that he retweeted images of him holding a US flag or of uh, 
uh, one of his rallies, but these were being tweeted by uh, QAnon followers who desperately want the president to acknowledge them. Um, and we've seen during the course of the pandemic that the number of times Donald Trump has retweeted QAnon uh, conspiracy theorists and their tweets has, has increased massively. Um, he's done that almost um, 100 times over, over the past few months. And it's not just Donald Trump either. As, uh, there are uh, me members running for, for Congress who support, endorse QAnon. Uh, his son, Eric Trump, has been sharing QAnon uh, captions uh, on some of his social media posts, um, including their, their catchphrase. Um, and and it, so it's definitely not something limited to the fringes of the internet anymore. It's found its way into mainstream politics. And the worrying thing is, it's from the QAnon community that a lot of these increasingly bizarre conspiracies arrive, um, whether it's Pizzagate, which we all heard about during the 2016 mm -hmm. election, or whether it's this about Wayfair now. And as we head towards the US presidential election, we can expect QAnon to be the place where conspiracy theories are born and then spread into the mainstream. They might reach the feeds of your friends, of your mm -hmm. of your relatives, not just limited to these, these people who are obsessed with this conspiracy theory. Thanks, Mariana. Complicated subject. Thanks for taking us through it.